wasn't it like Torchlight and like how it fucking finessed people that were sponsored? What was that video? I always wanted to watch that video. All right, hello and welcome. So I've got a relatively quick video here for you all today. It's going to be kind of off the cuff. I don't really have anything specifically planned as far as like I haven't, you know, I'm not going to edit this or anything. But I just want to talk about um, Torchlight uh, yeah, Im Immortal. I mean, history. Torchlight Infinite. Because uh, there's a lot of videos going around right now mm -hmm. that claim it's not predatory uh, pay-to-win microtransactions. You've probably seen these. And uh, I want to make a video because it's absolutely 100% predatory pay-to-win microtransaction. Um, the whole system is, like, littered with it. Like, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't have any of it, but there's some that have it and it's so excessive that, like, it's not much different than Diablo Immortal, in my opinion. To the point... Wow. My understanding is that Torchlight was always kind of like one of those more niche ARPG games. And they just turned it into a phone game. No, it's not Torchlight Immortal, it's Torchlight Infinite. The infinite stands for how much money you can spend on it. To where, um, I think it's fair to, for someone to question whether or not the devs just boldface lied on this. And, um, it's a real problem for content creators who said these things, because as far as I can tell, what happened is these content creators were paid to do an advertisement, you know, yes. to, to be sponsored by, uh, by XD, the creators of Torchlight Infinite. So random. And to say <laughs> explicitly that it is, there's no predatory pay to win slash microtransactions, whatever they say. They use predatory specifically. I yeah. know that. Um, to, to say that that wasn't in the game. And they had to release these videos. They all were made before the latest. I feel like it is very much a. It is a strong. It is a very strong thing to say that the creators were told to say that there's no predatory monetization and because of that they said it like that's such a tremendous attack on their integrity i'm not going to believe that at face value i i want evidence closed beta test which isn't really closed it's really open but still the, the latest cbt that came out which actually introduced the predatory abusive stuff so oh so they did the thing they were like oh this is not what the game is and then it's like patch 1.0001 that comes out two days after the game releases and that one that's got the good stuff in it from what i can tell these kind of got kind of blindsided to where they said something that's categorically untrue but they said it before even knowing that or before they could even know that and i think this is something that happened also with cyberpunk is that the way that cyberpunk was delivered to reviewers was very much different than what the actual people what the actual experience of the game was it's a really big problem because like also content creators should be very worried about this too because if you do something like this why are these companies doing this they're doing it so they can co-opt your integrity your good reputation and use it for their own malicious gain i think that's such a terrible thing to do to content creators fortunately for me yes it's a dick and i ass. wasn't one of the people who was sponsored i'm not large enough to be anyway no one really cares that much which gives me a platform to say exactly what's going on here and not have to worry about it because you know no one's paying me not to so here's how the systems work there's a couple of scissors really very clearly illegal it is not illegal in any capacity they give the they give these people it is there are things that are misleading and bad business practice that are not necessarily illegal like yes it, it, it's not that simple and i i think like i, I don't want to get into the legality of this or anything like that too far but basically what happened is they asked them to review a version of the game. They got that version of the game. They reviewed that game. So the contract was review version 1.006. And then they did that. Their contract is fulfilled. This is a live service game that is developed over time. And that time after the next day, after all the reviews went out, they put 1.007 out. And guess what that did? Yeah, so I... It's like you could take somebody like this is a bad example because it's just so it's so much different in terms of extremes. But if you like, for example, somebody does a review of War of the Warcraft and it's during Mr. Pandaria and they're like, man, bro, Blizzard really fucked me. 
they had me review WoW, and then they added like all this like Oryx and like time travel shit afterwards. Like I, I feel like I'm lying to my audience. So like it's just a very very uh, fucking like short version of that. Three. So I, I think that like let, let's also keep in mind that Torchlight can suck a dick for doing this because they did it on purpose. Torchlight are the ones with malicious intent. I do not think these creators knew about the monetization and then were okay. Why would they be okay with that? It would make them look bad. It damages their brand. And if it damages their brand and reputation, that's the most important thing you have as a content creator. Systems in, in particular that are problematic. We'll start with the worst one, which is the pet system. So the pet system is uh, connected to your pack here. And what it is, is you put pets in and they both change these stats here, which you can like invest in. So you invest in this and you get, for example, I have 3% XP earned here. Um, I have 4% drops here. I have 50% mana regen here, etc. You put pets in and they can change these categories, but also as you upgrade these pets, they can upgrade the nodes that you invest in. So if I like take off the explorer otter here, let's just cancel that pact. You'll see that I have 10% damage here, and 20% damage here, okay. mini damage as well, and uh, so on and so forth. If I put the otter back in, it gives me a new set of nodes. Mana regen, um, we've got... Max so are these effectively like cluster jewels in PoE? That's my understanding of already too complicated? Yeah, yeah, five star pets, yeah. It looks like these are cluster jewels in PoE, yeah maximum life over here and you can go back and take the original ones too you can switch so uh -huh. like you can mix and match there's a lot of power here and the pets themselves can be upgraded by finding multiple versions of these pets so yeah. as you get an upgrade reward it improves the bonuses here um and you get up to i think six levels so one two three four five six How levels, levels of this otter so you can continue to upgrade them until you get all six so a lot of power to be had in this system. Uh, estimates are it's about 30% character power in the pet system itself. That's now the lot. problem comes in how you can acquire these pets. So oh. to acquire pets, you have to go to the boon system, which if you've ever played Genshin Impact, it's going to... Okay, yeah. So we can clearly see what's happening here. Um, this is... I've never seen this game before, all right? I've never seen this game before, and I'm going to explain everything that's on the screen, Okay. So effectively, this is what is called, this is the money pit. This is the black hole. This is where the infinite part comes in because you can spend infinite parts of money, amounts of money on this page. So we've got right here, uh, these are for the different types of probably some sort of larger character. Maybe Hunter's Journey might have something to do with maybe the pets. And these down here are probably going to be the, maybe the more, uh, the more seasonal types of uh, pulling on the slot machine. So, for example, you're going to have, like, in Tower of Fantasy, you had, uh, you know, Nemesis, and then it was that really hot girl, and then there's also just the other hot girl now. So then also you have to look up at the top here, and we're looking at this right here, this one. These are your chips, okay? These are your casino chips, and these are probably... Uh, one type of currency that's used for buying the regular packs, and this is probably another type of obfusc obfuscation currency that might be used for buying the limited packs. So for anybody playing the game, how accurate was I on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 out of 10. Man. Ain't that something. Look eerily similar, because it is eerily similar to Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact has a gotcha system. This is, in fact, a gotcha system. That is what this system is. And so- I love how they are just so brazen about saying single pull. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, single, uh, you know, like they don't have like another verb. They just use the, the pull verb because that, it's a gotcha game. Listen, you know it. I know it. Let's just, you give me the money and uh, I give you, uh, the, the, there's a line of code. You're going to get that after you give me $800. What you do is you make pulls. You pull and you, yes. get, um, you get some pets. So let's just do one here. Let's do a pull. And in doing it, I've acquired, let's see what we got. Um, I want to, you know what? I've actually considered making one of these games 
and just the entire game like it was after tower of fantasy i really started thinking about this it's like what if i made a game with more menus than tower of fantasy and like you it, it's like you take two games you almost take a good game and you make it bad on purpose but you make it as bad as it possibly can be you know, like, I think, yeah, you have to spin to unlock the menu. You have to buy keys on the store. And it's just, yeah, tower of menus. Like, there's a menu for the different menus inside of the the overall menu that's on the top of the screen all the time. Yeah, the minimum amount of currencies in this game would be 75. I'm this guy here, whoever he is, and he's got his own stats. Um, and I can choose to put him in there and I can get those nodes out of them or I can choose to keep what I have And I can keep doing pulls and keep getting more pets and then I can upgrade them Now to get the best pets you need to have legendaries and legendaries have a 1.5% chance of dropping This tower of fantasy um, has a 0.8 for uh, different characters and it has a point It says a 1.7 for matrices uh, I don't know, 1.5%, that's high. Not only is it high, think about how generous this game is, right? Legendary Pack Spirit is guaranteed in 30 draws. Only one, you can do one pull right there. You can do the 10 pull. He's got his, uh, his uh, fucking camera over that. Like, if I were to bet that 10 pull is right where his camera is, I would bet a million dollars on it. I would straight up bet a million fucking dollars that 10 pole is right next to this. This particular pack here is like a starter pack to get you hooked. This is, you know, very much a psychological tactic that will give you one within 30 draws. And, uh, and then you'll have that legendary. And then you have Which to get that legendary work? five more times, though, because you have to level it up to, you know, to be level six to get the most power out of it. You have to have three. By the way, I, I, this is completely fucking unrelated, and I, I apologize. I actually think that the Twitch gambling ban will make Twitch gambling way more interesting. I think sports betting is way fucking more interesting than slots. Slots is only interesting in the spectacle of losing a lot of money very quickly. But like watching a streamer watch a sports game, especially like these like really fucking random sports games, right? Watching a streamer watch a sports game and knowing that they have $100,000 riding on the win... That's fucking funny to watch. Yeah, that is fucking funny as shit to watch, man. Ch Chinese basketball betting on ping pong. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my god, Russian ping pong. Horse races. We got Slickers alt account in here. Holy fuck. Good sports. Will there be any fixers? Okay, there we go, right? Sudden increase in WNBA's fucking... Why not? I'm not, I'm not going to fucking make that joke, all right? I bet we've had too much fucking drama recently. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a joke about that. But goddamn, I think it's going to be good. These to fill, you know, your whole pack system. And of course, you have to have the right ones for your build. Virtual and each one of these has races. a number of them. I believe they all have three. So that means that you have a 1.5% <laughs> chance of getting a legendary anytime you pull under normal this circumstances, non-Hunter's Journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. of that, right, back to, back there's a 33% chance that it will be the one you want. So that's, you know, terrible. Um, really terrible uh, odds. I think it's something like half a percent. No, it's, it's awful odds. Because you have to look right here. It's a rare spirit and below. The, as far as I know, there's no... If I'm not see I'm not seeing a pity timer for a legendary, am I? Like, am I crazy? I don't see a pity timer for a legendary. Yeah, there's no pity timer. So, like, if you're talking 1.5, so like, what is the probability of a 1.5 percent occurring? Uh, I know a one percent a chance of occurrence is about 99, like the third standard deviation of possible if you include about 800 trials of the event. So 1.5 would probably be somewhere around 500. Yeah, it would be somewhere around five. You would have to spend 500 of these to get one of them 
uh, at the absolute worst luck. Chance that you're going to get exactly what you want, and you have to do this. If it's 1.5. Six I, times. I think it's one in five. Six times. One in five hundred for the third standard deviation. All of that one pet to maximum. Now you have to do it two more times. Okay, so how hard is it to actually really? get this? Well, I'm not sure exactly how many pulls you get from playing the game, but it's not all that many. So, uh, for example, I have 12. Well, uh, why would you get the pulls for playing the game? You're not supposed to be playing the game. You're supposed to be paying the game. This guy's no I no wonder they didn't sponsor him. This guy's got no idea what he's talking about. He's got no clue. Hundred of this no jagged primus primer Chris, which yeah. I can convert into insight crystals. And insight wait, wait, crystal wait. primus primer that many. So uh, for example, I have twelve hundred of this jagged primus primer Chris, which I can convert into insight crystals. And insight crystals can then be used to do a pull. You can also get insight crystals in the world, or at least you can get them from like the seasonal pass, which we're gonna we're gonna talk about here in a minute. Yes. Uh, so they do drop in the world, but they don't drop that often. But then I can just do this conversion. So I'm like, okay, jagged ah. primo um, crisps into insight crystals is 160 per to one. Okay, so we get some of these in the world too, but again, they don't drop that often. So right now I have less than 10 pulls worth um, from playing the game. I've done some pulls before, so I'm not sure the odds, but they're not very good. I can tell you that much. Now, if I don't want to wait to get this stuff by hand, which will take me a very, 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 very long time to do, this might feel similar to Gems in Diablo Immortal, because it is, uh, I can guess. also can use Primocrists, or Primocrists, I'm not really sure how to say this, uh, and turn them into Jaggeds. So there's a one-to-one -one conversion here. Oh, wow. And then use Jaggeds into our Insight Crystals. That's okay, so, so, so the Jaggeds are the... Those, that's the obfuscation currency. Okay, I get it. See, now now we're starting to see what goes on here. It's a one-to-one -one conversion, so what does that mean as far as cost? Because, lo and behold, Primo Chris... There we go. So, you know what the best fucking part of this is? The fact that these numbers are the exact same in Tower of Fantasy. These are the exact same numbers. Isn't that crazy? It's the exact same in Genshin? Well, like, let, let's, let's look at the math, right? Uh, well, I'm sure he'll go through it. If he doesn't, I'll explain it myself. Are your premium currency. So you have to use Primo Christ, uh to get additional outside of playing the game. Yes. So I need... It's not called... It's called recharge. Okay. 160 jackets for one single pull. It's 160. So, if I were to buy, for example, this one, now your first purchase, of course, gives you more because how else are they going to hook you? Right, this yes. Is, like the cycle. Well, you'd be losing money if you don't buy the $100 pack. Yeah, I mean, you literally, I mean, you'd just be losing money. So, of course, you want to buy that. Logical, abusive tendencies of yeah. these games is just mind boggling Any to me. Any chargers? And what bothers me about this game is they told you they weren't going to do it, and then they very just absolutely did it, 100% did it. So if we pulled... They said they weren't going to do it, and them son of a bitches did it. God damn it. Who could have expected? This one, um, and we didn't have the one-time purchase, this would be less than two pulls for $5. As we have it, we get a few more, but again, this is your first purchase. It's pretty meaningless, given how many of these you'd like actually need to buy to, be, you know, to make an impact. Um, so well, if it's 170 and you have 300, so that's 600 total, 170, so you can do it three times. Sorry, four times. That's it. You can expect your know, $5 gets you less than less than two. Uh, this one gives you, let's see, uh, let's see, 160 to 320, uh, 640. So this gives you about three, or excuse me, about uh, six pulls right here. So for $15, yes. you can get six pulls. And remember, remember, you have to have you have a 1.5% chance of getting any legendary. Um, so that means you need, for every hundred pulls... Well, to be fair, if somebody's going for the legendaries, they're not talking about this top row pussy dick little bullshit here, okay? We're talking about the big golden chests. And it's gonna be six, it's gonna be like fucking 6,480 bonus on the first one, and then I can guarantee you, not guarantee you, I bet it's gonna be a 20% bonus, so you're gonna have an added amount of, what is 20% of that... Oh, fuck. It's like... 
Mm, man, I don't know. It, it, it's like a, a, a good amount. I don't know. Somebody could do the math. And uh, anyway, so it's like crack. Well, yeah, yes, yeah, so you can see it is just like crack. 1360? 1360. Yeah, I think that sounds somewhere about... Yeah, it's about right. You get 1.5 legendaries on average, so... This is a terrible conversion for you. Like this is these are not good numbers. This yeah, is, that's is why definitely you buy going to get you to spend packs. a whole lot of money. And again, yeah. uh, best estimates are like on the top end, you can spend about thirty thousand dollars just fully maxing out okay, on your pets, which is an insane number. And exactly, you think about it, right? Thirty thousand dollars maxes out your whole account in this game. Thirty thousand dollars only gets one gem in Diablo Immortal. I think this is pretty good. Exactly what we expected them not to do. Like all of their marketing was around this not being abusive and yes. um, you know not uh, not taking advantage of players. And you can get all your gear and all your stats, all your stats from playing the game, and you can't get it from buying. Yeah. Uh, that's not true. Clearly, it's not true because there are stats right in these pets. They, they, that's what you want these pets for. They give you stats, not just. Well, you can't buy stats. You buy pets to give you stats. So whenever they said you can't buy stats, it's true because you can't. You can buy pets to give you stats. I mean, come on. Not just like rarity stats, like increase your drops, but yeah. actual character stats, like mana regen, Got um, extra damage taken, less less damage taken. Yeah. Like that's. Yeah, they had some. They uh they uh they contracted Blizzard Consulting and Wyatt Chang went in there and explained some of the little tricks that you can play. Powerful. That's really powerful. Minus 9% extra damage taken is a very powerful node. So if you have to improve these through the pet system, and you can only realistically do that by spending money, well, that's definitely not what they told us. And a lot of us were really excited about this game because all of their marketing was so adamant that it would not be Diablo Immortal, and it would be so much different. And it turns out it's... It it's Torchlight Immortal. That's true. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't look like Diablo Immortal at all. That's true. It's exactly like it, and it's unfortunate. So there are two other systems here that I want to talk about. That's the worst one by far, but there is more to it. Um, so back to the boon system. This is uh, also a new Shadow of Revenge. Gives you legendary... So this is... Eights. So, so you okay, yeah, these are the matrices here. Uh, and so you can see right here, you've got the um, uh, you know call to urgency... Three days, eight hours, 53 minutes. It's counting down every minute that you don't spend your money on this. And pull legendary traits. There are a couple of couple You've of issues with this. You've only got a few days system. left. So first, what, what is the traits? What are the traits? So you get hero traits in this game. I bet every they're really class good. Has a hero trait like this one has ice, fire, fusion, which does a bunch of stuff that basically just means all well, your ice and fire are stronger. And then as you level up in that system. You get additional benefits that you can choose. Uh -huh. So these all just further improve the power up to 80. But there are legendary versions of these that you can't get from leveling from this tree here. And that is where that pull system comes in, the boon, Shadow of Re Revenge. It gives you yep. legendary traits. Now, these cannot be acquired in-game. At all, unlike the pets, where technically you well, so the reason why they can't be acquired at all is because they have a uh, look at this. It has a higher chance of giving you a reward. So these are like the Tower of Fantasy red nucleus items. Because how many times do you get a red nucleus in Tower of Fantasy? Those are pretty fucking rare, but they're not rare at all if you've got a credit card. Could someday get all of those if you just yeah, you know, farmed it up. Like it'd probably take you fifty years or something, but you technically could. You need fantasy crystals for this. Yeah. Fantasy crystals. Well, okay. Well, we just converted over uh, our insight crystals, right? Like that was easy. Insight crystals to jagged primo. Perfect. So we can still get get those that way. Uh, not the case here. So if you want fantasy crystals, you can only use primo crystals. So and and primo crystals. I wonder where those come from. Well, no, we don't wonder where they come from. They come from the fucking store. Everybody knows that. We this is a rhetorical question. And again, Primo Crisps are the ones you have to purchase and can only get from purchasing. As far as mm -hmm. I can tell, these don't ever drop in the game anywhere through any means that doesn't require money. So this is purely pay to win. There is no other way to win on this system. It is only pay to win to get these. Now, the devs have said, hey, 
those are balanced so that they're not actually any better than the ones you have. Well, if that's truly the case, then no one's going to want them. It's not the case. Exactly. I guarantee you it's not the case. What like, the thing is, if the new things that are added into the game that cost real money aren't better than the existing things that are in the game that don't cost money, that's not called design. That's a bug. That's like a that's a mistake. That's like a coding error, something like that. A, like a legitimate problem. Like somebody's gonna lose their fucking job over this shit. These are gonna do is they're gonna change play styles. And for some builds, they're going to be the meta option. They're gonna be yeah. your top tier option. It's gonna be a legendary version that you need to have. That's pay to win. There's no way, way around that. That's pay to win. If you need a top tier option that's through this system and you can only use only acquire it through this system by paying real money you can only pay to win in this system this is a terrible system it is so anti-player friendly it is all about the money so there's not a whole lot that i can do to defend them on this stuff since they were so like the way they came out with their marketing was so strong in that we're not going to be like immortal and if they would have actually done that the game itself feels good like i like the game so far they could have had an absolute hit on their hands and arpg fans could be like damn th this is how you do it but instead this is the opposite of how you do it this is how you take advantage of your players now another thing that they did that was uh this was definitely completely incorrect whether or not it was intentional or not like i'm not gonna oh, i'm right. not gonna like try to speculate here's how to tell if it's intentional or not does it cause people to have to spend more money about what's going on in the inner workings of XD, but I can tell you that they were very clear that the, there, there would be no seasonal, right? There'd be no seasonal um, track, there's no seasonal path, there's never been any premium season. Well, what's this? I have no problem with battle passes and seasonal passes. I actually don't have any problem with them at all. I think they're fine. I do have a problem with the pay-to-win ones that give you advantages. But on a base level, the system fundamentally, I think, is fine. This is a season. It's exactly what, like the seasonal, uh, like if you think about like the seasonal rewards you get in Fortnite, yes. where there's a track that's a free one and a premium one. Well, here's your free one, and here's your premium one right here. So if we unlock the ultimate handbook, there you go. $15, you can have your ultimate season pass reward. Well, and For also you have to keep in mind is that uh, you, you've got unlock all of, wait, 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 unlock all of them. Why are these two separate prices? I'm confused. 20 bucks, you can even get uh, some immediate points. So that's oh, exactly the same points. kind of system that I you see. would uh, you expect in other games that do this sort of thing. They have it too. Now you might be like, yeah. well, maybe the, maybe the premium... Maybe that's only cosmetics. cosmetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cosmetics then, if that were the case, it wouldn't be paid. It wouldn't yeah, that's be true. The free the path is uh, is the one that all players have. Yeah, I'm sure it's just cosmetics. And the premium one is the one you have to purchase. Well, right. you start off with an advanced auto pickup, or ot p pickup, as they call it here, ot p pick, and that allows a pet of yours to just pick up all the loot for you. That's an efficiency game. Hey, Black Desert Online does it. There it is. Lost Ark has it. There it is. Once you put the squirrel in the game, he has to pick up nuts. You don't want him to starve, do you? And now you can we can say that well that's quality of life and that's fine. I I'd be okay with you making that argument because it doesn't matter because if you go further in there you get insight crystal. Hey, that's your pull right there for uh, your pets. There's a there's a pet that's pull. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, there's some uh, resurrection type stuff. Um, that is actually also for pet pulls. Yep, there you go. Uh, pet pulls. I'm not even sure what oh, regret points. That's the respect. That's pretty important. I, I, maybe you want to say quality of life like stash tabs. Go, go for it, I guess, because you can't say it for this. You can't say it for this. This is very much pay to win. Like, you're going to get a huge benefit, um, with your... Well, it's not pay to win because, uh, one time you could do the pull and you might not get the one you want, so you don't win. So you don't really pay to win. It's pay to have a chance to win. And so it's not really pay to win. It's just, you know, it's a little bit different. Character because, with uh, your pets by just investing in this system, your $15, and then maxing it out. You get more than a free player does by a lot. 
like mm -hmm. buy, especially later on. Like, look how much stuff you get later. All that that's the free tier, and that is the pay tier, and it's almost all pay tier at the end. So, the whole the whole game, the whole concept of this game, as far as XD was marketing, it was that mm -hmm. you guys can actually get an ARPG that is both mobile and PC that is not predatory, that will not have pay to win. And then they completely blew that out of the water and d and destroyed it in one closed beta test. And so if you're watching those YouTube videos, they're like, hey, not predatory. Uh, just know that as far as I can tell, those content creators did not know this was going to be in there when they made those. Now, I'm glad that he said that. I am. Because, like, yeah, I, I think that, like, to, to call all of those people's integrity into question all at the same time, it's kind of like the people that are like, yeah, the moon landing was fake or like the earth is actually flat. And there's like fucking millions of people that are involved in this gigantic conspiracy for you to think that the earth is flat. Which like, by the way, I, if the earth was flat, I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, like this doesn't really change anything to me. Actually, it makes it a lot easier, right? We just go over to the edge of the earth, throw everything off the edge. <laughs> fuck. You know, it's somebody else. It's the aliens problems now. They were paid to make those. You, know, you say what you want about paid advertisement from a, a company that's in beta. Uh, but they were paid to make those, and they had every reason to believe that what was, they were saying was true. And I don't think it's their fault that they said those things. And I think XD owes them a massive apology. Well, they owe them a massive paycheck, and so that is the apology. Um, does it seems like a game designed to groom younger audiences into the gambling game genre? It's their wording. It's almost like a conspiracy to me by the bigger devs. How good of an idea would it be to make a game development company? And this is like a 25 year plan. And the game development company is only designed and it's only made in a way that, you know, it makes like kids games. And then, you know, 10 years later, it can maybe expand out into like adolescent games, like some adult games. And then 20 years into the development of the of the game after people have grown up with these games they change it from making games to a casino i think that works yep or do i invest i mean whenever you find out let me know because they're gonna make a lot of fucking money for making them say that and then turning around and making the opposite true and they need to do something about the system if they actually want to maintain any yeah. sort of, you know, reputation at this point. Because this system is so far, in my opinion, from what they had said. And, like, their, their wording was pretty clear uh, that it's, it's, a, it's an L to me. Like, it's an L with the community. The, the community's not going to be okay with this. The ARPG community that wants games that don't have this stuff uh, and started to play this game or wanted to play this game because they said it. It is an L. They were, they were completely bamboozled. The system is everything that we had feared it would be. So that's all I have to say on that. I just wanted to, I just want to put out my, uh, my two cents on it since there's a lot of videos out there again that are incorrect, um, that the content creators really had their, their hands tied on that. My hands aren't tied. So here's the- Yeah, it, it, it's, an it, it's an unfortunate, it's an unfortunate situation that like the title is structured in the way that it is. I don't necessarily think this is his fault, but like, if you are reading this title, the title implies that the people that are sponsored are willingly disseminating false information. Like if I read this title, I would assume that the premise of the video is that the people who are sponsored are disseminating false information. And so I, I think that's a big problem. Uh, it's It sucks because like a lot of creators are going to have you know, they're going to get a bunch of hate from their audience because of this. They are? Well, th I mean, they're not doing it on purpose. The truth of what's going on, so you all know, if you don't like pay to win, if you don't like pay for power, stay away from Torchlight Infinite because it is very much all of those things. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day playing whatever it is you are playing. If you do not m mind pay to win, maybe you're playing Torchlight Infinite. That's fine because, like I said, the game is without that would have been great. But uh, there's lots of other ARPGs out there that you should be playing instead of uh, this if you don't like pay to win. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks again. That was a decent video. I, I think this is fair. It's a pretty good assumption of, uh, you know, pretty, not, not assumption. It's a pretty good... Uh, 
you know, summation of everything that's happened. And I'm glad to uh, glad to see him talking about this. I've never watched one of this guy's videos before. It's actually a really, really small content creator. So I'm going to link you guys the video if you want to give him any support or any analysis. That's a good word for it. Yes. Analysis, assessment, evaluation. Uh, yeah, I think so. So make sure to give the guys some support, man. Absolutely. He's a small content creator and uh, hopefully see some more content like this. I think this is a pretty fair and, uh, and balanced perspective. The only thing is I do wish he had brought up the fact that like the content creators probably did not know this going into it uh, earlier in the video because I do know that there's probably some people that are going to go aggro on this. And, and it's like all the time people have like this assumption that like content creators are lying or, you know, it's like some sort of like conspiracy, right? And uh, it, it sucks whenever people play into that. Let's see, he did say it? No, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say they didn't say it. I said he didn't say it early in the video in a way that, like, I would have said it. But, like, that's all. Like, I'm saying this is a great video. It's definitely a good video. This is just, like, I would have structured it slightly differently. That's all. But, yes, uh, I totally fucking agree. Uh, it sucks. And it uh, looks like, I mean, you know, I, I, I guess maybe I might be one of the, uh, the minority that's come to that conclusion because it seems like... Doesn't videos pro Torchlight Infinite that come out on the same day? XD is up to some shit again. Well, I think that having like a coordinated marketing push, because like what they do is they obviously want everybody to release their video at the same time. So it's like, you know, like when you're on the radio and like you, you turn to one channel and it's a commercial and then you go to another channel, it's another fucking commercial, right? And so it makes it harder for you to get away from them. He's a content creator. Uh... How are you, a content creator, using someone else's content? I, I'm not sure what you mean by that. You know, like like reacting to a video, or do you mean like watching the, their their like the review? I, I'm not sure what you mean by that. L let's see here. Uh, two, two. I mean, it's called CBT. How the fuck do you play a video game called CBT and expect it not to fuck you? It's that's literally that's that's what it is. How do you do this? But yeah, I, I do think that, uh, I do think it'd be great if, it, it, it's like, I feel like games like that, the problem, the reason why they all use the same system is because it works every single time. They wouldn't use the same system every single time if it doesn't work every single time. It's the same as like the fucking YouTube thumbnails of people, <gasps> right and like all this stupid shit and it's like people everybody hates the thumbnails but everybody keeps using them because they keep clicking on them i'll be right back